So strategic planning is a living, breathing document. What we're gonna do is we're gonna travel all over Nebraska and we're gonna come out at night when the working men and women are available, we're gonna come out on weekends and we're gonna say, what's, a, what's important to Scotts Bluff? What's important to Gary? What's important to North Platte? And then we're gonna take all this information back to Lincoln and we're gonna work with elected officials and nonprofits and other organizations um, that want to lift up Nebraska. And we're gonna to put together what our priorities are. Everybody's not gonna get what they want, but you know, it, it might be bridges and, and roads, it might be transportation, it might be law enforcement. Uh, what we wanna make sure that we do is that our legislation and our budget mirrors what's needed across the state, not what we think that you need, but what you think you need. And then you know how your taxpayer dollars are being spent. So when I'm at this end of the state, the number one thing I hear is property taxes. And tonight we're gonna to talk, and this is my favorite thing to talk about, about the big lie they've been told for the last two decades about property taxes. We can lower property taxes as long as we stop unfunded, underfunded mandates and fully fund our schools. We've known that since Ben Nelson was governor. Um, but nobody ever wants to really address the issue because my goodness, what would they run on every two years? So property taxes I always hear, especially out where people have a lot of land and, and they should be upset about it. And they've been told for 20 years that it was gonna get better and it hasn't. So I hear that a lot. Um, we really have a lot of workforce issues and housing issues and childcare issues, which is really one issue in itself. If we can't offer affordable housing, which is different than workforce housing, it's 30% of your income. If we can't offer good childcare, if we can't offer good paying jobs in Nebraska, we're gonna to continue to have depopulation in rural areas and we're gonna to continue to lose really good talented young people to other states. So those really are the big issues that I hear out here. 